hello guys welcome back to my channel this is your baby girl Tracy's corner on today's video i'll show you guys how you can harvest your vegetable and how you can preserve them so guys i visited my garden today my small garden closer to my apartment i went to see how my vegetables are doing and i came and i noticed they are doing so well this one i'm showing you right now it's huckleberry look at how fresh looking good and healthy the plants are so this is huckleberry it's very young it's not yet ready to be harvested so i'm here today to show you guys how i harvested my green because it's looking so healthy and fresh look at that that's it over there look at how healthy and fresh my plants are looking this is my green this was the first vegetable i transplanted i started with green that's why it's looking so healthy and fresh then i took like one week because i was so busy then i transplanted my huckleberry so since i started with the green look at how grown they are they are looking so green just like its name green so green and healthy so i'm here today to harvest this my vegetable so guys i'll show you how i did the harvesting how i did the preservation of this vegetable after harvesting so this year i cultivated water leaf as well you can see this is water leaf i don't know how long it's gonna take for it to really grow well anyway let me see how it's gonna grow before the end of summer so this is water leaf it's really young still small but anyways it's looking fresh and healthy as well i just need to be pouring more water and see how it grows so so far so good they are looking good and healthy so now i just need to allow them to grow and uh -huh. now i'm going back to my green and very soon i'm starting my harvesting i just said i should show you guys how my water leaf how my um huckleberry we call it in my home country country in jaman jama it's looking so guys let me move straight to the harvesting process so i'll be using this i call it scissors i don't really know if they call it scissors but i'm going to use it to harvest my vegetable i prefer using this one because it makes my work easier and fast i don't want to use my hands to start harvesting the vegetable i might i might pull it off from the ground you know the ground is not too strong like what we have back at home because i added some soil and some um manure so i'm just gonna be using this look at how swift it is it's so swift so i will not destroy my vegetable with this i'm not gonna destroy any of my vegetable i'm just gonna harvest them really well so i will advise if you can harvest your vegetable this way it will be good and it will help your vegetable to stay healthy and strong so as not to destroy the other vegetables and not to destroy the plant as well so you can see what how i'm harvesting it it's so swift using these scissors just that um i'm just i'm the only one here right now doing this harvesting so it's a little bit slow because i'm using just my one hand in case i was using both hands i would have done it faster than what i'm doing right now so guys i'm just showing you guys how i harvested my vegetable stay tuned and enjoy the harvesting process okay see you so guys very soon i'll be done with the harvesting of my vegetable to achieve this wasn't easy you know the transplanting buying of soy buying of uh, manure the kind of caca mixing everything it wasn't easy look at that look at how fresh how healthy how good looking this vegetable looks like oh i can imagine i can't wait for my husband to return back from work and see how our vegetable it's looking like just to say our hard work didn't go in vain we did this together and look at the results it's looking good it's looking healthy fresh so guys from here i'll be going to the house and i will show you how i preserve my vegetable right now i'm in the house i'm, I'm fixed 
fixing the vegetable so i didn't want to leave it to sleep overnight by the way it's too much it, it can't fit into my fridge because my fridge is almost full and i can't leave it here overnight otherwise in the morning it will not be this fresh so i'm just gonna fix it slice it wash it tonight and just pie boil not really boil but I boil a little bit of warm water I'll put it in the warm water and then I will just remove it after a few minutes and I will preserve it so if you like to see how I preserve my vegetable keep watching stay tuned and enjoy the video okay enjoy the video So guys, the next step will be the slicing of my vegetable. So after fixing, I'm just moving to the next step, which is the slicing of the vegetable. At this stage, you can as well watch your vegetable before slicing. And at the same time, you can as well fix, slice, then watch the vegetable. So in this video, I'm going to um, fix, slice, then I watch the vegetable. I'm not gonna watch before slicing. So guys, enjoy the slicing process of my vegetable. Then we move to the next step. Stay tuned, enjoy the slicing process. As you can see I'm done with the slicing of my vegetable so I'm moving to the next step which is the watching part I'm gonna watch my vegetable like I told you before I had to slice before watching so at this point I'm just going to watch the sliced vegetable really well like four to five times I make sure there is no sand left at the bottom of the white bucket so I'm just going to watch it really well then we move to the next step so stay tuned while I wash the vegetable thank you keep watching
so after washing off our vegetable very well the next step is by boiling the vegetable at this point i already um, boiled water then i put in my vegetable allow it for few seconds because i was like trying to taste the vegetable how soft it is i don't want it to be soft i want it to remain crunchy so i had to just by boil it for some few seconds and then i'm going to remove it and put it in cold water because if i have to remove and keep it like to allow it to be warm it's gonna be soft so i'm just removing it and put it in cold water so the bucket beside the pot uh, has cold water so i'm just removing it from the hot water on fryer and putting it in cold water and after that i'm still going to like remove the cold water and add more cold water immediately so guys stay tuned let's see how the next step is gonna look like and what the next step is all about So guys let's move to the next step which is the squeezing of my vegetable so I have cooled down this vegetable. I've removed the warm water and put in cold water again the second time. So now I'm just gonna squeeze the water out from the vegetable look at how green it is and at this point I had to taste the vegetable if and it's very very crunchy it's still crunchy it's good if you have to preserve your vegetable make sure it's crunchy so if you have to cook it uh, maybe when you you're ready to fry your vegetable it's still crunchy then it's good so at this point the vegetable is crunchy and i'm just squeezing out the water from the vegetable look at how green and crunchy and nice looking my vegetable is at this point i'm going to put in the vegetable in my ziplock bag this is how i preserve all my vegetable especially during the summer i do my planting preserve my vegetable and i enjoy them during winter you know <laughs> Wow, so now I'm going to put in the vegetable in my Ziploc bag and then send it to the freezer. So you can see I'm done putting my vegetable in my Ziploc bag. This Ziploc bag is 6 liters. It's really big. So I've put in everything in the Ziploc bag and I'm going to seal it and put it in the freezer for future use. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you have watched up to this point of my video, thanks.